Do you know the moment when you just opened a book and you were just trying to read, but then you remember you had so much stuff to do and you actually have to do them and you can't read anymore? So you stop reading and instead you do your work, you study, and you have no time to read. And it sucks. That stops now because I woke up two hours earlier to my Urola to read my books. So let's see how this week's is gonna go. Hi guys, it is day one of doing this challenge of waking up super early to read more, to be able to just read more because I'm waking up two hours before my usual alarm. So yeah, not gonna lie, I am exposing myself in this video because I obviously woke up at seven, so my alarm is going off at nine. I would love it to be two hours earlier and this to be two hours earlier, but you know. This is only day one. We can we can make that happen. We can make it happen. So there's some sort of construction going out going on on my street and it's very loud and annoying and I hate it but I can't change it. But yeah, obviously today, day one, I woke up at seven and I started reading Betting on You, which I did start yesterday, so I was already a little bit in it, but I think I was on page 140. And now I'm on 2.20 and I still have an hour to read because I yeah, woke up, read for an hour, then brushed my teeth, got ready, took a shower because my hair was actually disgusting and super gross as I had a hair mask in during the night. I just didn't want to show my face to the camera. That's probably way too much information anyways. So I took a timer for 42 minutes and now I can read for 42 minutes more. Because obviously I would stop at 9, but because you get it, you get it. And yeah, I obviously do want to wake up earlier the next few days, but we'll just see. But betting on you, it is so cute. It is the new YA romance by Lynn Painter, which I'm obsessed with. I need more books by her, please. I can't believe this is my last one of her books. It's so sad. But yeah, I'm utterly obsessed. Like, yeah. I love Bailey and Charlie. I feel like Bailey is so me coded, which I love. There's so many tailors with preferences in, which I love. She loves books. She loves reading. She has a book Instagram. And Charlie is just so funny and like more like a bad boy guy, but like not actually. Like he's kind of like using like sarcasm and stuff like that as a defensive mechanism. But yeah, it's just been a very very fun time. Like I read and then I noticed myself smiling a lot while reading which has been fun and yeah I'm excited to see what we're gonna get up to this week reading wise yeah I did damage my book yesterday a little bit can you see the yellow here and here it is so upsetting I can't anyways let's continue reading also, they're going on this like trip, and it's just all so fun. I'm very scared if there's gonna be like a third act breakup or something, cause I just don't want that. Like, I just want them to be cute and together and happy. And they're not even together in like this much in, so it's kind of giving slow burn ish. And like, they're not even close to getting together. Okay, this was enough sun for me today. Let's put it back up. Oh my god, this is so hot. I just feel so happy right now. You know, I love it. Hi guys, I just wanted to let you know about something that is super funny 
And that is a bit that they are talking about Kansas City Chiefs defense team in the book. And they're also talking massively about Taylor Swift. But they're not talking about them together. And the book came out before Travis and Taylor. So it's just funny that the that she put them in together in a book, but not before she knew. You know what I'm saying? I think it came out then because it came out in twenty twenty three, I think. So it's just very funny, you know, that fact. It's just chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Hi guys, I just wanted to let you guys know that I did the two hours. Sadly, I'm honestly so sad. I'm like, well, it's over. <laughs> I need to start work now. That is so upsetting. But yeah, I read that middle bit. Can you see it? Like, I looked where I started at this much this morning, which feels honestly great. And I haven't done that in a long time. And I just want to continue reading it. Do you know that feeling when you're like, you have so much to do, but you don't know where to start? Like, what should take priority? So I'm like, I don't know what to do, so I just want to go on TikTok and scroll for a little bit because I don't know what to do. But yeah, I'm now up to page 285. No, 80, yeah, 85. So, top notch. And they're so cute. Cool. I actually can't. They're so cute. Like, so incredibly cute. Um, it is the next morning, obviously, and it is currently, oh my god, I can't even, okay, but it's 6am, I am extremely tired because I am still not really used to going to bed early, so I went to bed at 1. I am extremely tired, and... If not for the video, I definitely wouldn't have waking up yet. But if not for the video, I probably wouldn't have read at all today. Like, because of... I wouldn't have had the time because, basically, I'm driving to my uni town today and I'm going by car, which... Like, I basically can't read anything. And then I'm going to meet up with a friend and I'm going to study. <laughs> And then I need to edit a video, which I really freaking need to do. Because I was supposed to go on a train and do it then, but... I can take it. <laughs> so that's nice. But yeah, I finished betting on you yesterday because after I read so much in the morning, I was just obsessed and I wanted to know how it ends. And I wanted to finish it. And so I did. And it was really cute. And I loved it. And yeah, I'm gonna write it at the end because I truly have no idea yet. So, yeah. And so now we're just gonna read a little bit more of Powerless because I just wanna get it done. And I feel like two hours is a good time to spend on it. And then we can go into another book and come back to it, maybe. Maybe I'm gonna be like obsessed because. The games are gonna start soon, so that might be helpful. I don't know, but yeah, I'm just really tired. I'm a little bit scared I'm gonna fall asleep. I might just need to get out of my bed, but it's warm and it's nice and it's comfy, so don't hold your horses for that. But let's see if I fall asleep because I really wanna. But yeah, it's 6 a.m., let's read until 8, and then I need to start packing and stuff. <laughs> Because I didn't do that last yesterday. Cause... Anyways, I see you later. I'm currently on page... Oop. 150. Ooh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. Hi 
guys, good morning. It is day three of this challenge. Um, yesterday I was a little bit sick. I had a really bad migraine, so I didn't get that much reading done. It was just a little bit messy. I tried my best, but it was just hard. But the migraine has been getting better, so I woke up today at 6 a.m. Extremely tired. The crazy thing is that it's light outside. That is mind blowing, honestly. But yeah, it is 6 03. And yeah, I just woke up. I'm super tired, but that's okay. Yeah, very tired if you couldn't tell. I don't. I don't know. I'm not a morning person like we've discussed. But yeah, I'm gonna read today this Kindle book that I've got from my library because I'm in a mood for it and it seems to be really short and quick and I started it yesterday just reading a bit on it because it was nice reading on my Kindle and I just, I don't know, powerless, like I said, I'm gonna read a little bit here and there but not just a that was my alarm clock just making sure I'm awake but yeah I'm gonna read it here and there but not like fully 100% just that so yeah I don't know what made me like read this one but yeah like I said I'm a little bit in but not that much so let's see how much I can read in two hours this morning and so sweet I could cry hi guys the time is over now for me reading because it is it it is can you it's 807 I cannot I don't know I don't know if you can see that but anyways it is and so I need to get up get moving get grooving get all my stuff down it's gonna be a busy day just thinking about it makes me kind of want to cry <laughs> And I keep thinking it's Monday and it's not, it's Friday. Like, the week is not even over, but it feels very, like, a long week. It's fine. I need to work. We work at one, which is in five hours. And I need to do any work now and technically edit. And, yeah, let's not think about it. But I'm done with the reading, obviously. I'm going to talk about the book later because I just want to make this update really quickly and get ready and look more presentable. But... It's a really good book. I'm loving it. And I'm now on page 220. I might have underestimated how far I've come yesterday and the night before just trying to fall asleep. Because I was at page 100 when I checked that morning. I was like, wow. And yeah, whatever. And I'm now 65% done with the book. And I was at 40% when I started this morning. So this... Waking up earlier really pays out. And I haven't fallen asleep or anything. I really thought I would. I was like, I'm going to sleep. That's just what it has to be. And I didn't. I was like, whoa. That is crazy. Yeah, I was so awake. And I still feel so awake. And I did not think that would happen. So, I'm just very happy about that. Honestly, didn't think I would could work. But it did. So, yeah. So, I'll see you later in the day when I'm all ready and we'll chat back then and then we still have two more mornings. Okay, bye guys, bye. Also, fun fact, I need to work next Monday and Tuesday. I have an early shift, which means I need to be at work at 6 a.m. At work at 6 a.m. I'm going to have to set my lamp for 4.30. So I'm loving that a lot. Obviously. <laughs> Me when I said I wanted to have an earlier shift and then actually got it and hate it. <laughs> mm. Mm. 
Hi guys, I am now looking a little bit more presentable just so I can talk a little bit about the book before we go into next morning, which would be, yeah, the next whatever. I don't know what I'm saying. Like I said, this week feels like it's been actual weeks. Like, I can't believe I started where I started the week, where I'm now, and it's not even the end. I'm like, wait, what? It's where, like, in my mind it's Monday, but it's only Friday. I'm like, wait. But yeah, I'm reading We Could Be So Good. I can put the picture here. And it is, like I said, about um, two newspaper reporters in the 1950s. Basically, 1958 is where the story starts. And they become best friends. And then, well, I guess nothing has happened yet, really. But they're really cute. Like, their friendship is so cute. These are, like, the sweetest little men angels ever. They are so sweet. To everybody. Not, like, to each other, but, like, so kind. So nice. So sweet. I could cry. Think about it. And you know what makes me especially could cry? Is the thought what could happen to them. Because, like, I thought, um, like, it's the 50s. So there's still a lot of history we have to get through. And it is a romance. I think it is on Goodreads. It's a romance. And he, wait, let me check that. Sorry, I just removed my line, which is my phone. <laughs> we really have the good stuff here, right? Also, if anybody's wondering how I found the book, it was literally recommended to me from my library. I was like, what was that available right now? Got it. I was like, sounds good. So, yeah, a new way. Usually I'm like... TikTok, Instagram, booktube, no. Nope. Yeah, this is kind of it as a romance. It's all folks fiction, romance. So, yeah, um, that's interesting because romance usually have a happy ending, right? Right? <laughs> and I just, I'm like trying to figure out a way and I just can't see there be a happy ending. I'm obviously not going to spot anything, but I mean, it's very happy right now. I'm like giggling and kicking my feet and I'm excited to keep reading when I'm at work, like on my break. Um, because I need to leave now. I just, we're working on my computer, on my uni work. Look at it, it's so pretty, isn't it? Huh? Kidding, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's very sweet. And like I said, I'm really happy that I had these two hours this morning and still was so productive and did a lot and I feel really good about it so I'm honestly loving it and yeah I mean I'm very tired this is my energy drink but I loved it and I mean I'm loving the book so yeah they're just so sweet they're just so sweet they're just sweet angels and I feel like that helps with reading a book when you are absolutely obsessed with the main characters because they are so sweet they are literally sweet little angels okay anyways I need to stop blabbing on and get ready to work. So, let's go, let's go. Let's go. I don't wanna go to work. Why, I just wanna read but the silly little books and do nothing all day. Ugh. Why, why are there like responsibilities and stuff? This sucks. Hi guys, we are at the end of the video. 
Thank you guys so much for watching and I just wanted to give you a little bit of a last update I would say and I'm sorry at the end it got a little bit messy or just un -updatey. I was editing it and I just realized that I never filmed like an update in the end I was like whoa are you stupid? But you know I, I did this video because I was so busy I wanted to read more and I did read more but I still was extremely busy so yeah and <laughs> That, that that was it I mean I had migraines I had work there was just a lot going on at the moment but I'm really glad I did this video it was super fun and it really helped me read more and I want to keep doing it I'm just not the most morning-esque person like I definitely I feel like it, it would be a lot easier to stay awake for two hours and read than or wake up two hours earlier but I don't think that would be like healthy and great idea so I'm like, I might just do this on a little bit I don't I don't know we'll see how it goes you know what I mean but yeah I mean summer is right around the corner so it should get a little bit less busy soon <sighs> anyways I wanted to talk, talk I wanted to talk about the books that I read which are all at home so ignore but I first started with Betting on You, which I loved. I gave it literally 4.5 stars. It is my favorite Lynn Twainter book that I read so far. And it was Chef's Kids perfection. Literally perfection. Then I kept reading a little bit more of Powerless. I am over halfway not done with it now because of that. But I still haven't finished it. Mm, which is not good. Which is not good. And then I obviously also read We Could Be So Good which I gave five stars, which was such a surprise, but I absolutely loved it. It was so good and they were so sweet and it was just perfection. And I love these main characters so much and I can't stop thinking about them. And I kept thinking about them when I was reading and I was obsessed, like obsessed, obsessed guys. I don't really understand. And then the last book I started was Middle of the Night by Riley Sater. Riley, Riley Sater. This is why I'm also now just filming the update because I wanted to finish that. Because I was like almost done, but I just wanted to like give you a rating and stuff. And I had decided on a four star. It is a really good new book by him. It was just not my favorite of him. And it was kind of going in a weird sort of direction. I was like, please don't go in that direction. I'm begging you. And he kind of did. I don't know. I just did not love that. But all in all, I just love Riley Sage's writing. And it was a really good thriller. And I enjoyed it. So yeah. But that was basically about Ethan. Who was camping with, with his best friend 30 years ago. In his backyard. And then the best friend literally goes missing in the tent. And somebody took him like. And it just goes from there. And then he goes back 30 years later. To the house he grew up in. And is trying to figure out what happened. To his best friend. And it's just... I'm really good thriller and it was happening in July which I feel like is really cool like it was like the summary thriller which I did enjoy so would recommend this book as well so I guess we read around four-ish books no no definitely not we read like three-ish books let's say three-ish books in five days ish ish which is pretty good. I really enjoyed that. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I do hope I see you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye. Bye.